Hi friends brothers sisters ladies and gentlemen I love you you are precious to me as a token of my love for you I welcome you all to our interactive immersion courses entitled my dream personality everybody has dreams i have dreams too i hope you have dreams as well some five person realize their dreams and live their life in its fullness while a great majority don't i want you to realize your dreams and live this life in its fullness enjoying every moment i invite you to our courses entitled my dream personality Welcome to our one day interactive immersion course on my dream personality planned written designed and presented by MT Koska and team inside academy Ghost contents part 1 my dreams about my future what do i need for a comfortable and happy life part 2 the traits of my dream personality the traits that help achieve goals part 3 start time presentations part 4 feedback time part 1 what do i need for a happy life the kind of education i strongly desire education is the most essential asset the one that makes every other asset possible the kind of education i strongly desire life is not what happens it's what we make so we learn to make it the way we like engineering medicine arts and science politics business administration counseling psychology law what do i need to enjoy life happily the career i enjoy person centered services or thing centered services farming teaching health care civil services engineering what do i need to live happily financial security a reasonable income for a comfortable life a happy home to enjoy life in its fullness a beautiful garden to enjoy working in and have quality time with family and friends a vehicle to move around latest technology such as smartphones laptops and other gadgets to stay connected with friends and family for entertainment and for work or study purposes a home library signature brand clothing to feel good and look good delicious foods and healthy food habits adorable jewelry amazing ornaments visiting world's most beautiful tourist destinations what do i need to live happily personal development primarily and contribution to society 
a partner to share life with what kind of person should be my partner the looks character traits education career economic means family social status spiritual life my partner hello friends you look the best couple just married enjoy the fragrance of marriage in its fullness may god bless you a happy neighborhood is essential too my dream personality traits physical wellness and fitness emotional maturity intellectual compatibility spiritual realization part 2 my dream personality traits the traits that help enjoy a happy and fulfilling life one physical wellness and fitness the state of being healthy and strong the ability to get along with people and things in a study of work environment and perfect harmony without conflict now we shall look at the factors contributing to physical wellness and fitness hereditary factors food and food habits the environment we live in our fitness and wellness programs i know and i agree with you food is the most important part of life but remember we are what we eat do we have regular exercise please make sure exercise contributes to wellness and fitness too how often do we exercise the environment we live in is an important factor that contributes to physical wellness and fitness emotional maturity now we shall look at the character traits of an emotionally mature person one a positive vision of the self and the world as well these people have the ability to see a winner within and a world of opportunities around opportunities are always there the positives grab them while the negatives miss them two good finding habits positive visionaries are good finders they find the best within themselves in everybody else and in everything around and naturally plan the future with great imagination and intelligence three your high self esteem the positive visionaries see themselves equal to every winner as our great leaders do four equanimity the positive visionaries maintain a calm state of mind irrespective of what happens around five the positive visionaries have total self confidence that means believing in god who is within us what man cannot god can the ability to believe we can achieve what we really want when we believe we can the how we can comes to us from within 6 goal setting and the ability to envision the future it's the ability to set one's own goals in the following areas career education and training finance health familial life social life and spiritual life seven stability the positive visionaries have the habit of remaining at one job 
in one line of activity and in one place of residence for a reasonable length of time at least 3 years on the average 8 industry the positive visionaries have the habit of working steadily on one's own initiative conscientiously and productively their habits will not allow them to be lazy 9 perseverance and persistence it's the capacity in a person to persist in an activity to its fulfillment despite difficulties and obstacles the habit of finishing what one starts a positive visionary does not give up easily he or she finds obstacles and oppositions challenging they never give up 10 loyalty the positive visionaries put the interests of others employer colleagues associates family and neighbors before their own and if necessary go beyond the ordinary requirements of their job and serve others interests 11 self reliance the habit of fighting one's own battles rather than depending on others to do it 12 the ability to get along with others the positive visionaries have the capacity to make and hold friends and to maintain healthy working relationship with colleagues subordinates associates and supervisors and to obtain and retain good personal acceptance by others 13 leadership the positive visionaries inspire confidence respect and trust in others others voluntarily go to them seeking aid counsel guidance and support leaders always leave their community or country better than they found it 14 a clear vision of one's needs the positive visionaries know their needs and they have the ability to choose a career suitable for need satisfaction now we shall look at factors contributing to emotional maturity hereditary factors the thoughts we feed ourselves with food to the body is what thought is to the mind exercises making a list of how we express our emotions and reflecting on them example how we express our anger when we express our anger others are affected when we suppress our anger we are affected so the best way is to eliminate anger similarly jealousy fear and diffidence our environment and neighbor they contribute to emotional maturity too intellectual compatibility mastery of our subject and effective communication skills they are hard skills and soft skills hard skills are our can-do factors they include our education professional training technical knowledge aptitude and our experience our soft skills include our will do factors that means our willingness to work they include our emotional maturity attitude team spirit the ability to present ourselves pleasantly and get along with others comfortably Our soft skills include conceptual skills, communicative skills, executive skills, evaluative skills, 
and our ability to fill our skill gaps. Soft skills include assimilative and analytical skills, receptive and adaptive skills. Organizations always look for the excellent because they cost less but contribute more. Organizations recruit assets, not liabilities. Make sure you are an asset. Factors contributing to intellectual compatibility. Hereditary factors, the kind of education we receive, the kind of training we undergo, a professional experience, the environment we live, study or work in, our attitude to ourselves, others, God, study, work, life and the world. Believe important, feel important, think important and look important to become important. One day you will become important. Spiritual realization. God is present in us in the form of love, the spirit and the power center which we call our soul. Our soul unifies humanity. For the scientist, it is anatomy and physiology. While in spiritual terminology, it is soul. Yes, the incarnation of God our maker is our soul. The universe is an expression of God's love. How to realize the presence of God in us? Hello friends, how to realize the presence of God in us? By loving every living human person, including ourselves, is the only way to realize the presence of God in us. Hello everybody. We envision a global community where every individual receives their desired education, excels in their chosen career and contributes significantly to making the world a better place fostering harmony and enabling all to live life to the fullest.